Are babies born with emotions, or do they develop over time? What about personality? Is a happy baby destined to become a happy adult? And what factors play a role in shaping a child's emotions and personality? Researchers who study the psychosocial development of babies have given us some fascinating insight into the minds of these tiny humans. And the mysteries they've revealed can be invaluable to parents and caregivers. English poet John Donne once wrote, No man is an island entire of itself. In other words, human beings don't develop in a vacuum, but in a community of people. Babies' personalities and emotional well-being are directly affected by the interactions they have with the people in their lives. <laughs> Personality refers to the myriad of emotions, behaviors, and attitudes that characterize each person. These tendencies help to distinguish us from other people and make us who we are. But people are not born with fully developed personalities. Instead, infants come equipped with a more basic set of psychological tendencies called temperament. These include differences in expression of the emotions, activity level, and attention. They can be seen as the building blocks from which later personality develops. Temperament tends to be thought of as the kind of inborn characteristics of the child. Some children are just more happy and smiley than others. Some children are more irritable and they cry more than others. Some children are more active than others. Some children are more adaptable. They sort of go with the flow, if you would. If the bath water isn't quite perfect, they can tolerate it, where other children are much less adaptable. You might think of temperament, therefore, as kind of the raw material that the child comes into the world with. Now, through experience, that raw material gets further manufactured. With supportive, sensitive care, those characteristics can be molded so that we form a personality that's more sociable, that's more friendly, that's more agreeable. 